nothing is hidden under the sun, is a phrase coined by Leonardo da Vinci, and a very smart one, meaning that anything you do in secret or we think would never be discovered would be revealed to the public or exposed to the public. Excellent phrase, Leonardo. In my opinion, this phrase should be, nothing you do in Walmart is hidden under the sun and will be exposed soon to the public. Sorry, Da Vinci. Now, you may be wondering what happened in Walmart that tried to stay secret? And if you are thinking that, I would answer your question soon. It happened in November 2018 when a certain celebrity was involved in heated arguments with another party that turned into a brawl and led to murder. You must have your mouth open now and your hands clutching the chair handles. Murder? Oh yes, you heard right. The big word M-U-R-D-E-R and committed by someone who is supposed to be a public figure. 31-year-old Jonathan Lindell Kirk, also known as The Baby. 31-year-old Jonathan Lindell Kirk, also known as The Baby, has been in a lot of internet controversies and is known as a very wild man, involved in a lot of aggressive events and run-ins with the law before and after his fame. I will provide you with a rundown of some of his wild moments in no particular order. On February 22, 2021, the baby was charged with a felony for allegedly attacking the rental property owner Gary Pager, whose house he was supposed to use for a music video shoot. The lease had certain terms and conditions which the baby was meant to keep, but not surprisingly deflected on and allegedly attacked, taunted, and ran away with expensive kitchenware belonging to Gary Pager's rental property which earned him a lawsuit. The baby also faced another backlash after he was involved in a heated argument on Instagram Live with his baby mama, Danny Lee. The rapper and singer were engaged in a heated argument as he asked her while feeding their three months old baby to leave his house. The baby again was backlashed heavily for his terrible and homophobic comments about HIV AIDS patients and the LGBTQ community. Talk about a lot of issues. The Baby, during the Rolling Loud Music Festival held in Miami, made uninformed and wrong comments about people with HIV AIDS and also made offensive comments about the LGBTQ community. Explicitly, he said about people living with HIV, if you didn't show up today with HIV, AIDS, or any of them deadly sexually transmitted diseases that'll make you die in two or three weeks, then put your cell phone lighter up. A very wrong and offensive statement made in a distinguished public space, but also by a supposed role model to younger generations. He also made another comment targeting members of the LGBTQ community, saying, fellas, if you ain't sucking D in the parking lot, Put your cell phone lighter up. Well, that was low. Really low of the baby, who was called out by various celebrities like Dua Lipa and was even dropped by company Boohoo Man for his offensive comments. But that isn't all. The baby in a video in 2020 was recorded slapping a female fan while leaving the stage after not performing one song. Earlier that year, the baby was arrested for robbery charges in Miami. And before that, the baby was hit with marijuana charges in North Carolina. Too many lapses and wild events involving the rapper. This is why you'd think he'd slow down a bit and reduce all aggressive appearances in order not to single-handedly destroy his music career and name, but the baby is on a roll. But before I share this news, let us take you back. Rewind a bit to some years back, precisely, the year 2018. In November 2018, the baby shot and killed someone in a Walmart building in Huntersville. The baby killed someone in Walmart, Huntersville, which is a suburb of Charlotte, North Carolina. But the events surrounding this particular incident that led to the murder is more complex than you'd have imagined. After the shooting, there was a lot of commotion and cops covered the scene quickly but it was unclear as at that time, what really happened in the store which was empty. 
Police found only one dead body, which belonged to a 19-year-old boy named Jalen Dominique Craig, who was shot severely and found with numerous gunshot wounds. What a terrible way to die, if you ask me. But that, my dear viewer, is just the beginning of the story. Days later, police released an official report, and local Charlotte News reported that the rapper DaBaby, whose real name is Jonathan Lindell Kirk, was one of the four individuals in questioning. Soon after that news came out, DaBaby made and released a video of him on a hospital bed, confirming the news of him firing shots and claiming he did so as an act of self-defense. This is exactly what DaBaby said in that Instagram video he released. If them gunshots ain't go off, eh, my effing daughter could have got hit. Son could have got hit. Me, the baby alleged. Effing lawyers telling me not to say something and sh all that. To walk down on you and your whole family threaten y'all, whip out on y'all. Let me see what y'all gonna do. You feel me? The baby also alleged that he was violently robbed prior to the Walmart incident by two men while with his family. He claimed that the men were armed and tried to kill him, and the camera footage supplied by Walmart supported and backed up the baby's defense in court. By March 2019, a judge agreed with the baby's legal claim of self-defense, and the murder charges were dropped, and he was only charged for carrying a concealed weapon. Now, you're wondering if the court cleared the baby, why then are we still talking about it? He didn't murder anyone, did he? Self-defense isn't bad or against the law, and my only answer to this is that the story isn't close to over. We all thought it was over. The baby didn't kill that 19-year-old intentionally. Time to let it go, right? But then a video surfaced and everything is being questioned. In late April 2022, Rolling Stone released a never-before-seen camera recording of the pre-shooting and its aftermath incident. This video attracted the eyes and opinions of fans and observers who watched and weighed the almost one minute tense video, which showed the baby running toward, pushing, and striking a guy named Henry Douglas. Talk about aggressive. Now, it is unclear what these two guys said to each other, as there is no audio before their argument turned to a physical brawl, though the clip showed Henry's hands in his sweatshirt until the baby made contact. The two men fought aggressively, taking their fight to the center aisle and out of the camera range. Another interesting thing this clip shows is customers are shown staying away from the brawl, including a concerned-looking Mariah Osborne, who was, at that time, the partner of the baby, but clearly following the fight. Well, the baby and Douglas continued fighting without care, clashing in an adjacent center aisle where Osborne and Craig approached the two combat fighters. Now, this next part happened really fast, but while Douglas and the baby continued their fighting tournament, the clip captured Osborne walking past them to strike Craig. The final part of the footage showed a bystander filled with terror by the gunshots, which ended the life of the 19-year-old Craig, abandoning her shopping cart and running away. Smart choice, lady, who wouldn't? The baby was also seen moving to the center aisle, standing up, pointing, and holstering his firearms without taking any other shots. This is all from the recording. After the charges against the baby's possession of a concealed weapon, Craig's family made clear their opinion and strong belief that the rapper had indeed gotten away with murder. 42 months after the death of Craig, his family still maintains their stance that Craig was killed by the rapper The Baby, who has spoken about the issue or brushed its topic in numerous songs of his. This camera footage has brought various opinions and shed it new light on the incident, and numerous fans are of the opinion that The Baby truly committed murder by shooting Craig as numerous people say the new video changes their opinion. Regardless of the new opinions on the Walmart shooting involving the baby, some fans are still of the opinion that the baby was justified to have shot the 19-year-old boy Craig because he was also armed. The baby responded to the new video trending on the internet with a tweet saying, praying on me can't with the people praying for me. 
as well as responding to a tweet by Ebro Darden. Ebro Darden tweeted, why are people acting like the 2018 video of the baby's Walmart incident wasn't already seen by Walmart, the police, and the courts? And the baby responded saying, cause the media got their ass brainwashed. Craig's mother also spoke to Rolling Stone, saying that she felt the authorities swept the case under the rug when it involved an investigation of her son's death. She also said, and I quote, Kirk, the baby, knows what he did. I'm not doing this for no fame or anything, because at the end of the day, Jalen Craig is gone. This is really sad news and experience for the family of Jalen Craig, who we wish is resting in peace wherever he is. Time will reveal further details on this grave incident and news, my dear visitors. But however, in order to prevent physical confrontations from getting out of hand, as seen in the case of the baby and dead Craig, the dialogue would go a long way to prevent tragic incidents and presumably a loss of life. Time will reveal further details on this grave incident and news, my dear viewers. But however, in order to prevent physical confrontations from getting out of hand, as seen in the case of the baby and dead Craig, the dialogue would go a long way to prevent tragic incidents and presumably a loss of life. Do you think the case of Jonathan Kirk, AKA the baby and Jalen Craig would be reopened? What are your thoughts on the new videos that has surfaced? Let us know all your thoughts and opinions in the comments section down below and stay tuned for another True Celebrity Stories.